Hey guys, my name is Z and you're watching Z Makes It Easy and welcome to a new video for Design Technology Timbers Core Content and today we have 1.9 which is Papers and Boards and by the end of the lesson you should be able to describe 1.9.1 Paper 1.9.2 Board and 1.9.3 Properties including all these stuff so check out the pinned comment for all the timestamps and we'll move on with 1.9.1 Paper when we'll talk about copier paper, cartridge paper, and tracing paper. And copier paper are used for inkjet and laser printers to print from a computer. The properties include thin, lightweight, and bleached paper. And the working, the working properties include it takes color well. It's readily available, like you can buy it like anytime you want. And can jam printer mechanisms. And cartridge paper are used for drawings, writings, and painting. And the, property, the properties include it's thick, textured, and rough. And the working properties include expensive and opaque, used for ink and watercolor. For tracing paper, it includes it's use for developing ideas to trace ideas from one sheet to another. The properties include it's translucent or see-through, and it's smooth. The working properties include it's shiny, it takes pencil well and it's expensive, and it's long and drying time. Then I have 1.9.2 board, folding box board, corrugated card, and solid whiteboard. And folding box board is used for packaging food products like cereal boxes and healthcare packaging. And the, property, the properties include it's made of three layers, a printable top surface, an unbleached center layer, and a bleached inside layer. And the working properties include it's good for scoring without splitting, it accepts print well, and, but it's not as strong as solid whiteboard and it's inexpensive and it's relatively cheap to keep the cost down. And corrugated, uh, corrugated card or corrugated cardboard or board is used for packaging electrical products and as it absorbs impact or hot food as it's a good uh, insulator. And properties include it's a paper bonded to the outside and working properties include corrugation makes it strong, it's protective and insulating and it's not water resistant. And solid whiteboard, it's used for model making, packaging, or cosmetic products. The properties include it's smooth on both sides, and the working properties include it's stiff, but it can be cut, cut or scored. Then lastly, we have properties. We have flexibility, printability, and biodegradability. And flexibility is the amount of material bent when the force is applied, so like the stiffness, and it's determined by its thickness and weight. And flexural stiffness is the resistance to an external bending force. And handling stiffness is the ability to support its own weight. And for print, uh, printability, it's the, ab uh, it's, it's the ability to accept a printed image onto its surface or porosity, like how easy it is for the ink to like uh, get absorbed or like travel downward into the paper to get absorbed. And it's, it's affected by surface properties such as smoothness and finish and structural properties such as bulk or thickness. And it's not the same as print quality, which is determined by other factors such as alignment of plates or the machinery. So the print quality is uh, it's affected by how like alignment of plates or like how like the, the ink and stuff. But the printability is basically how, uh, how well uh, a material can absorb the printed image. And biodegradability is ability to be broken down by bacteria or other biological means or like microorganisms. And most uncoated paper products are biodegradable because they are made from wood pulp. And it's compostable means that a material can biodegrade in less than 12 weeks. So biodegradability is quite important to determine if a product is recyclable or, it's, or if it's not. So that's it for this short video and I hope you guys have enjoyed this and found it useful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms. And also check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.